Hi, today I'm uh, going to explain uh, a little bit whatever I got to know from uh, Automation Anywhere tool. This is getting recently more popular. I just installed and see what is going on, what is there. I have a little bit of automation experience and uh, wanted to try the Automation Anywhere uh, tool uh, in my computer. So. So let me start like you know, what I want to cover in this video. So I want to talk about the installation, credentials and license. Yeah, first uh, and then the dashboard and workbench, scheduling, automation scenario and covered automation action. So these five points I want to cover. So first is the installations and credentials. So you go to automation anywhere, search in you Google and then you find the link and you download it. You will get the credentials uh, to your uh, registered email ID and uh, you will get the trial version license for uh, 30 days. After that, um, I have installed, I got my license and uh, you will have uh, two things. One is uh, the dashboard, the screen, whatever you are seeing is dashboard and uh, you have the workbench workbench is where that you can create the scenarios and edit them um, i mean the automation boards um, robot they call it as bo bot um, so, so here i have the dashboard screen and i have some sample tasks here here you can um, set up a the scheduling tasks and you can see what are all the tasks are available and what is uh, its status you can schedule them so it's about pretty much about the dashboard and uh, i have created some of the scenarios so let me take you to the scenario where i have uh, um, where i have executed so here uh, excel sample atmx is one of the sample i want to show you so if you click on the edit it will take you to the uh, workbench of automation anywhere so actually so let me talk about the scenario which i wanted to automate so here actually i wanted to create a folder create a text file write something there with date save using a keystrokes um, and close using keystrokes like uh, control s alt f4 and uh, open the text file read the contents in the text file um, through OCR and other available methods there are multiple methods you can read the content and then loop through the content and delete the folder open an excel file append data into the excel file run a macro inside the excel save and close the file and some uh, if else conditioning and error handling some you know basic scenario which i have took for automation so see if you are seeing here in my workbench see i have uh, as you see that you know in the left side you have all the uh, tasks which you can automate uh, which which are user friendly there is no coding required you just drag and drop here the first one i took is the if else condition like you know you just um there is like you know if else looping uh, stuff is there on the left side so if you see here on the left if else so i just selected if file exists or not so i just selected this and then if file exists and then I'm, i selected a file and then how long would you like to wait i waited for two seconds and that uh, you know the condition and there is a delay like you know i want to introduce a delay how you know there are uh, multiple types of delays are there like you know whether you want to wait for a window or wait for a screen change and you can prescribe uh, how much time how much time in milliseconds you want to wait and uh, you can set up a random delay also so i just kept uh, a regular 50 milliseconds delay hard coded delay and then i have reduced some error handling also just to see how error handling works so there is a um, error handling method here which is good like you know when you want to what what point you want to enter the error handling um you can see begin error handling 
continue or like you know stop the task and what you want to do on that event that error happens so here just to see how it works i just selected this begin begin error handling and continue options take snapshot and take task statuses fail so i this is the error handling scenario and it's basic stuff and i have created a folder and created a file by using uh, there is a file system object related um, um, related uh, tasks are here on the left side so here i selected uh, create a folder create a file here if you see this create a file or folder and uh, you want to delete this you want to open it to open the file so all these uh, tasks i have used for uh, creating the folder creating the file and opening a file and then i have created a text file in uh, some in my local folder um which i created dynamically here and then after creating the text file open it and after opening it you enter uh, automation anywhere by me in a uh, temp for notepad so if you can see this is a keystrokes how you enter the values in the keystroke so here you have to select the window which you want to work on so currently it is showing all the available notepad see if when you are trying to automate it you make sure that uh, window is getting displayed on your desktop once you click on refresh it will get displayed in your uh, drop down here so you select the text file and then you write whatever you want to uh, write inside the text file and um, and also if if you want to type like in a multiple rows here in the keystrokes like uh, um, the first line once you enter it once you click on enter and uh, provide some some uh, the second row it is considering like you know two rows see here uh, um, keystrokes I I wrote two rows here and it is considering two keystrokes as a date dollar and then enter after that um, yeah so there is uh, one more concept like you know a variable how you can uh, select the variable so here the inbuilt variable date i have to can it taken it from the variable the inbuilt variables here so you have other variables also like month millisecond there are different variables which you can consider so here uh, i need the date so i just took the date uh, which i want to write it in my notepad file after that i have um, so these are the keystrokes i used like you know this is the keystrokes which you want to enter like you know control um like you know i want to use the keystrokes for saving instead of um instead of uh, using um the menu options i am using control yes so here you need to take control down which means you are pressing control and control up where you are releasing the control re releasing the press from the button so control down yes and control up so this way i am saving the text file whatever i wrote there and then i'm similarly i'm closing the notepad file by using alt f4 and then i'm opening the same file again and uh, after opening i am reading the um, reading through ocr ocr is like you know the way you can um, uh, read the contents by using object recognition so so in this in this method let me open this and show you so here uh, what you really wanted to read uh, i want to read the window which is the notepad window and uh, OCR engine is like you know which uh, algorithm or which concept you want to read it I think there are four different types I use the default one and uh, view capture text um, so you can see the capture text whatever is been read and then um, uh, you can also use before and after where before is like you know once you read the text uh, once you read the text that you know you can see 
um, you can split it like you know if you want to select 249 in price 249 XYZ so you can say give price as before and after as XYZ so it will select the in between these before and after so that's how I selected an option of help so be after the help you select the content so that's how I selected it and uh, uh, after that I am also reading the content by using uh, um, read from text file this is uh, from the other uh, you know task which is the enlisted on the on the task bar here so um, <clears throat> see here the read from CSV or text file where it can allow you to read the content uh, from here and um, there is also a way like you know once you read it it will allow you to read the content row after the row and column after the column by giving the separator so and then see if you can see this I have selected the text file and add the delimiter as new line and uh, uh, session is default session so in the reading while reading it um, it will allow you to it will allow you to like you know what you have read in the the text displayed from OCR see this is the text displayed from OCR it's supposed to go up so let me uh, move it little up where is the move up okay so here I'm moving this up and um, after uh, you know reading the file here is the start loop from a CSV text file where it will let you like you know field data is the value column is uh, is the column um, that you know if you are separated if there is comma separated uh, values are there in the text file if it is separated by any special character then you know it will let you uh, use the columns so I don't have any separations other than the um, rows so I just have one uh, column so the first column with the field data it will give you what are the rows so when when you're reading this you should be reading two things one is the first value as automation anywhere by me and the second value as date um, so it will read that and then I'm using the keystrokes I'm closing the text file I'm deleting the folder which I which I have created earlier uh, here so when, when you delete it it will delete the file inside the folder as well and then I'm closing the error handling after that um, I have the I'm, I'm working uh, I'm working with Excel file right now here so I'm opening a spreadsheet which is there uh, default there of course you can create it the Excel file too but I'm using here the Excel file which I have created uh, which I already created and then I'm um, setting up the value as setting up the value date a6 there uh, in the a6 I'm entering the value date I'm running an excel macro here model to summary which is already there so if you can see here in the excel file so these are all the commands which you can open the spreadsheet go to cells delete the cells run an excel macro close the spreadsheet so this excel macro which I have created already for the excel so i'm calling that here so and i'm saving the spreadsheet and closing it so let me execute this and show you how this will run so for right now um, let me let me go to the automation anywhere folder where um i don't have any folder here uh, for temp or like you know i i i, I supposed to have a set temp folder here where the temp file uh, she temporary folder uh, value will be there now uh, and then so so it's a uh, temp.txt will be created defaultly and then for the excel uh, there is like you know, this is the excel file which i am using it so here in this excel um right now there are some values are here like you know I will delete these excel file I will delete these values here and then I am saving it and uh, you know there is like you know uh, excel file with some test cases and status here so it will the, the macro will make sure like you know it will 
give how many executed how many passed and how many failed so let's see like you know how this works when we execute this okay so <clears throat> So you can execute the file here. Uh, say I'm saving it. You can execute the file here by click on the run button. Yes, yeah, so let me run it from here so first. So here when you click on the execute, then you know it is create opening an ex opening a notepad file and then provided automation ever by me and then see it is reading the value. So first is with the object recognition it read but it was not uh, perfect recognition but the next read from text to file it, it read uh, one after the other and uh, the excel file it opened and it uh, executed the macro and uh, closing it so the execution is completed you can also execute uh, this um, so let me see let me show you whether the values in the excel file is there yes it is updated it updated the values also also it uh, also it, it 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 will delete the folder whatever i have created by using dynamically and then i have a full command here where it will delete them so after this um, okay, let me show you how we can execute that using from the dashboard so you can from the dashboard also you can see the excel sample is listed here you can you know, click on the run button here where it will execute um, from here to so let me run it or even if you double click on it it will get executed so it's getting executed from the dashboard to see the through object recognition it is uh, it giving some junk values also so I prefer using read from text file. Okay, so <clears throat> after that, you can also schedule this task like you know how you can schedule like you know say I have a scheduler here, so you can schedule here by using um, one time only and then provide start and end time and by using this it will schedule it will get executed automatically also you know if you want to work with the emails where uh, you have to you know set up uh, in the options and then where you can provide uh, the email settings where you provide your email id and concepts like this and then uh, and then like you know you can set up the e you can work with the emails also yeah so for gmail if you want to work with the gmail like you know i have the gmail settings where you can provide smtp gmail.com and port number is 465 you need to select check on for my server user secure connection my server requires authentication and provide the username and password and you should be good so you can use the use the gmail also where you can you know control your gmail you can send emails from your gmail uh, so this is about uh, the automation where my sample scenario hope you learned little bit from this video yeah that's it uh, from me thank you